Andrea Clark, senior programmer. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Is there anyone else joining you? Raul Castillo, could you come down? Yes! Who else needs to come? Please. Yes, there's we have room for people here, and if you have a larger team, we'll have to see you. Jose Raul Castillo. Thank you. 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 I'm Nina Lopez, I'm going to come down here. All the cast, could you please come down? We would love to see you guys. I'll be on my seat. Please come down. Please come down. Please come down. Handsome people. By the way, we jump criminal in the bathroom. Oh, no. Lazy. Got enough. Sit down. By the way, by the way, there's Marlene Borte. I, I, I cry. I, I can tell her this now. I cry every day. Oh, Julia Bray, this has been some. Sal Lopez. By the way, Sal Lopez is the greatest hair in Hollywood, right? Yes! Right I just turned around and was like, you look right sharp! Got the whole thing going. Uh, is everyone down you. here? Yeah, we're all here. Okay, great. We're all here. Well, I'm going to start peppering you with a few questions, and then you might have to s send the mic around. Because again, sure. we do a family, like... Family you know, just style. a casual family yeah. style, like, yeah. a, like a good meal. Um, <laughs> so I would first love, because I know you guys wrote this together, and you actually sent me a really beautiful, um, a, not a write-up, but in talking about this movie, I think there's so many things going on. I think it's an enjoyable film, just first and foremost. There's so much happening, and there's action and drama and intrigue and family and relationships. But I also think it speaks to... A much larger story and I found that of really significant interest right. and I'd love to hear from you both sides of that of wanting to fulfill making a, just a great movie to watch but also answering to something bigger and maybe addressing um, everything from representation to a cultural you know element of society well, what, what, what Dre is talking about specifically is the email that I sent her saying, El Chicano should open your motherfucking festival. We should open your festival because we're the best film. But, uh, no, I think that, listen, uh, I don't want to talk too much about it. I want Ben to talk about it. But I think that this was a, uh, from everybody, and you see it. And I, I think what you see on that in that film is a tremendous... Uh, communal sense of people that love, you know, what they were doing and, and got into it and were invested in it. And, you know, every time I watch this movie, I see something new. And, um, you know, the greatest gift that you can get that, as an artist is to be a part of something like this and watch it evolve and watch you guys watch it and laugh at different things. Because now for us, for Ben and I, you know, we sit at the top, it's all math. You know, we're, we're not... We're not wondering, you know, what we know it's coming, so we're just watching you guys. So it, it's such a it's such a joy, and and so, and I get such a kick out of seeing it because I'm emotional every time at the same places. Marlene Forte makes me cry every time when she says goodbye. Every, every time, every fucking time. Uh, I know it's kind of sweet, <laughs> and it's like, and and so you get these these great, and to have them here. Um, I realized last time I saw Sal and I saw Marco, I saw you have this weird thing when you've seen someone every day and you're cutting it and you go like, hey man, and they, you think they know you. And they're like, hey, get the fuck away from me. You know, it's like, you have this weird, so to see it in this way and to see, and to have everybody here, and I think, bro, is this the first time really you've seen it like this? This is the first time I've seen this cut. Yeah, this, this, this particular cut, yeah. So to, so to experience that is just, it's the best, man. It's the best. It really is. It's like it's it's amazing. Ben, can you speak to the kind of hope that you had for what this movie would be? I, I mean, I, just I, in I, like well, well, three just, sentences or less. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I took up all the time. Yeah, no, 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 no. For, for me, it, it's it's seeing 
and, and I say this over and over again, Latino people are watching Latino people on the screen. Yeah. That's really important. That's for me, that's, that's a great thing. Where, especially with the, in, within the industry that are very underserviced, and uh, that it doesn't just have to be about a movie like this, just a, a general story that has to do with, with Latinos that are playing police officers, doctors, lawyers, just regular stories, and, and this is where it all starts. So, uh, you know, I'm just thankful. I mean, it just, it just came all together the way it was supposed to. From all these, the, the cast that, I think the key thing was the passion they had for the script and the story. And to interpret that and have them, you know, say these words, um, it's been incredible. It's, it's very surreal, very surreal. I will say that that was something that struck me again when I saw it, of, especially as a programmer and a film independent, we're really not just sensitive, but trying to be like a step ahead in looking at things like representation. And, and then I go further of like, oh, am I, am I doing right by the people who are being represented? And this film was interesting because there's still, there's gang elements, there's criminal elements. And then I really appreciated that those are there to serve the story and the world that they're in. And that it's peopled out beyond that, that there's family in it, there's people with other jobs. Because a lot of what you get <laughs> tends to be, right, you either get a film that's just yeah. in one part of the world and it really limits as if that's the only part of the world that you can see those characters in, or those actors in. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, listen, for like Sal's character, Ogayo, I totally got the, the idea that you'd be like, listen, this was Mexico, this was us, you took it, we're taking it back. It didn't feel like a nefarious bad guy, you know, any more than when in Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan says to Jared Bozeman, you know, there's two billion people who just like you and me, you're, you're gonna keep mm -hmm. this from them. It's like, it felt like, uh, it, there was a, there was a, it, it felt like a realistic bad guy. It's not yours, it's ours. And, and that to me, I think the mistake that people make in this film is, oh, it's a gangster. It's not. It's about politics. It's, it's identity politics. It's like this idea of, like, you know, in, in Pedro Singh, it's America is always capitalized. We are, and by the way, we are all part of this country. We all came from somewhere else. And I think that's what's most important, especially as we're dealing with the bullshit we're dealing with now. I feel like this movie's kind of a bullet through all that stuff. You know? Here it is. <laughs> from some of your cast because I think you know nothing obviously there's there's what you create on the page and then there's what the performances do with it and so Raul I'd love to hear your experiences with working with these men and being part of this still busting my chops I guess you know I met Ben and I read the script about two years ago almost I think yeah. um, or the script came my way and we met on Skype. I was in Hell's Kitchen in New York and I was looking at him in my computer and, 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 and the script obviously was something that was very special. And, and then we got a chance to sit down in, in, uh, in Tribeca in New York and, and we had a meal and, and we talked about the script and, and about his own personal story and, and his reason for wanting to tell this particular story. And, and at, at the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an action film, it's a superhero film, there's, there's a lot of stunts, it's a lot of fun stuff that I got to do that was new to me, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a family story, it's a story about, about how complicated families are and how um, most families are broken and, and, and the relationship between these two brothers, I have a brother, so I connected on that and we connected on that, I think, about the story about brothers and, and the story about family. Uh, it was, at, at the, at, from the very get-go, that was very evident to me, so to see everyone on here, standing on the stage right now, show up and work and sort of set their egos aside and come to work, and it, it was beautiful. And I've never been in a cast with this many Latinos. And that was, it was really, it was Born at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And for the ladies, I would love to hear too how this was for you, because you both had those kind of performances where you have a, like, one or two rich scenes with a lot to sink into and a really heavy emotional lifting on your part. So how is it, how was it for you coming into this? And, and also how much were you aware of the larger, the sort of 
the superhero origin story, or were you just really concentrating on grounding the moments that you were in? Um, oh, me? Um, I, yeah, I, I never thought about it as far as like a superhero kind of movie. Um, I get to play my mom a lot. She's kind of a fierce <laughs> lady. And, well, is um, this the first time you've seen it? Um, I saw a, 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 an early cut with right. um, George and Amy. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, um, I like this one better. <laughs> um, um, but, but, but I think that that's what I love most about this, this movie is that um, it is a superhero movie, but his power is a superhuman power, right? It's not something that's unattainable or magical in that way. Um, and that's what I really loved about it. He's superhuman because he just does the right thing. Yeah. Right? He does the right. Um, he, you know, that 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 scene between us where he's like, when I, you know, I'm like, you disrespect your brother, and he's like, no, you disrespect me. Yeah. It's one of my favorite moments in the movie because, yeah, I guess I did, but no, he's your brother. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We just went from there. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I mean, first of all, um, Vanessa is Ben's real wife. Where's Bonnie? Who is Woo! a badass. So I was like, oh my God, I have to represent. It's all in the peanut. Vanessa, stand up. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like Vanessa, you know, I they always say, like, behind a, every strong man, there's an anywhere in stronger woman. But, um, but I feel like I love that Vanessa, you know, is college educated. She's from East LA. She goes to get her college degree and then she comes back and never forgets her roots or where she came from and pays it forward and teaches her community. So I love that, just portraying the college educated Latina who doesn't forget mm -hmm. where she came from. And then to Rebel's point, it was such an egoless experience where for me personally, I really have to say I had to trust both Ben and Joe because as actors, you're like, oh, am I doing enough? I don't know. And and I have to say, you know, in, in that kitchen scene, which when I read the script, I loved, you know, it just was. It just was very simple. And I was like, because I come, you know, I've done George Lopez multicam and, and Lucifer is very like, you know, and, and it was just so easy and simple. And it, it wasn't for them. You're like, I didn't feel like I did anything. And they're like, that's perfect, you know? <laughs> so um, it's one of those things where you just have to trust your directors and your and your producers and because they see it from a different perspective. But everyone here came to play, you know, lots of theater backgrounds, you know, like music superstars, I mean, it was so nice to see not a wink link in an all Latino cast. And, and so it, I feel like we have legend, living legends here and sure. um, real deals. And um, I'm, I was just, just so proud to be part of, you know, this kind of all-star cast. Sure. I I think the two of you stood out to me. And I remember when you were leaving to go to the safe house, I was like, I know this is not going to be that movie, but I would follow those two women to the same house. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that as well. Yeah. Um, so as you explore the franchise possibility, right. there's a safe house audience out there. It's a toss up who's going to be El Chicano. Yeah. 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 Um, El so one of the things that Amy just mentioned, the idea of coming back to your roots, um, when when Joe was chastising me about how good the film was and how it should play in all of our theaters all day every day, um, one of the things we mentioned because this is in our LA News category, which is my favorite section. Don't tell the other filmmakers, but it's my favorite section of the festival. Where the LA Film Festival, um, the films in this section represent hopefully the not the entire breadth of who we are as a city, but different pockets of it. And I felt that there was such a great use of a very specific part of town. And even, it was fascinating to me, even at the beginning, I loved meeting them as children and having that great sort of like little kid voyeurism where you're, hmm, what's going? But the people they're peeping on are like, actually not up to great things. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, oh, these are heightened stakes. Yeah. Film. And, but it's still their neighborhood. And there's still 
you know, the people know their names and they're like, you guys are out too late and you should, do you know what I mean? And I'm wondering, I, I would love to know if you're from that part of town if, or if, you know, if other people in your, in your uh, family here <laughs> are, but in terms of making it, like, was there a reason above and beyond the, the Mexico-American storyline that made you want it based in LA and based in the neighborhood that it's in? Of course, that was my life. Yeah, as I said, I look at my brother over there. We, it's, I'm, I'm sure you, you probably John would say Where's the John? same thing. John, John Bray, right John there. John Bray, right there. Right there, early '90s, U.S. Olympic uh, fighter, and uh, he, he was uh, John. And I go, you know, I mean, it, it's there were six of us in the family, and it was like he grew up in the barrio, and it was like you, you found things to do, even when when you see Pedro and you see Diego, and that was all related to what we were going through, all the mischief we were going through uh, you know, in, in the neighborhood. You know, so uh, I'm sure I'll have a conversation with John after this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to have a conversation with John because in my head, you guys are the twin brothers, <laughs> and then I'm just going to decide which of you is which. Yeah. Uh, just let it go. Yeah. Just let my imagination you go. Know, in, in every Latino knows, especially when you live in the barrio, you know, you, you, you adapt and you relate and, you know, you find things to do and and everything about this this film and writing this script was everything that was based on my life and what was exposed from my mother, Susana, from my wife, Vanessa, to, you know, uh, Diego, who was, was a, a homie of mine that grew up across the street, to, um, you know, everybody. You know, from this criminal and no one, just Martinez, all these cats. There was, there was so in my life, they were all relatable somewhere in, in that storyline from when I was a child. So, yeah, you know, you know, and I'm sure everybody else that's, that's out there, you know, they know the deal. They know the deal. So, yeah. Good. It felt personal. So <laughs> yeah. that you didn't pull one over on me. Um, I would love to open it up to questions from the audience. Is anyone out there? Right here. Love the film. I've been waiting to see this film for a year now. Since wow. Lee told me. Wow. And Angela on the set of uh, Lucifer. What was it about directing this film? I mean, what were some of the difficulties about it? Because it's so good. And you did a great job. Uh, what, what was what? Some of the Difficult difficulties in making this film because. Uh, I wasn't just. By the way, by the way, Ben's been punched in the head many times. So <laughs> So you have to really yell these questions. You're yeah. saying, What's, what was difficult about? They <laughs> say, what was difficult about making this movie? Oh, I thought you were gonna answer. No, <laughs> gonna answer. Uh, no problem. We could go. We could go. Okay. Please go on and on yeah. with that. Um, you know, um, initially when we had to do scouts, we we're in Calgary. You know, the, the 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 reality is is that think about the last time you saw a Latino film. American Me, Blood and Blood Out, um, Mi Familia. It's been over two decades. Yeah, that was the hardest thing nobody wanted to make it. Yeah, and, and the hardest thing is nobody wanted to make it, and, and, and it's true. So we found these guys, and you know, where are they? Our Robinson. Where's our Robinson? Uh, our Robinson. Where's our Robinson? Blair Ward. Blair Ward. Oh my God! Oh my God! They believe in the story. And, and those guys, they're up there somewhere. Those guys grounded out. Guys, raise your hands. Let's see you. Where are they? There they are. In the very oh, back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. back. Yeah. The three beautiful Canadians. There's other guys here tonight. But uh, they, they, through by hook or by crook, got us the money to make this movie. And uh, all privately raised. And God bless them. Because uh, we couldn't know without them. And that was a, a very difficult part of making this film. It was just getting people to believe in it. And... Uh, yeah, and they still don't believe in it. You know, they still don't believe in it. It's like uh, it, it's crazy, and uh, uh, I'm gonna fuck them up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck them up. I do think every film needs three beautiful Canadians. So I'm I glad think so too. There you go. Um, other quotes right here. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask Mr. Criminal. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Here we go, handsome. Oh. Here we go, yeah. handsome. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, my song with uh, Mitch Lee that's in here. Where's Mitch? Shout out to Mitch Lee. Where's Mitch Lee? Yeah. Where's Mitch Lee? Yeah. 
Stand up, bitch. And there's an audio right there. It's kind of yeah. That's our song. That ain't my song. That's the whole thing. Yeah, Didn't it come from like a gang of weed? Gang of weed. That was that was Calvary's finest week. So okay. now we, we had just finished rapping and uh, I got a post by by Joe and Let Ben. Let me change this question. And <laughs> and uh, they asked me if I could stay in Canada another week to bless the film with a couple tracks, and it was like a dream come true. And uh, I partnered up with the, the film score of Mitch Lee right here with Redemption Audio. We went into the studio and started scoring that beautiful track and. Uh, like Mitch says, man, he blows people's minds, tells people that we came in on one night and knocked that out. And then we uh, came in and we dug a little deeper for the song Brothers because uh, we know how, how high the stakes are for that from my boy Ben right here. So we made a song from the heart and uh, became history. Brothers in El Chicano. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. 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 Uh, in the in the future of the film, have you thought of a scenario in which uh, Chicano joins the Marvel universe? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, no, no. no. Uh, it's funny because we had we the way that Ben and I originally opened the movie was it started in 1943 in the Zoot Suit riots. It went to 1958 with Chavez Ravine evictions. It went to the Watts riots. It went to the Chicano War tournament in 1970 with the 1980s. And we wrote this beautiful like 10 page thing and like. Uh, you don't have money for that. <laughs> so we caught, we caught all that, but like we would, you know, listen, it's, it's meant to be, it's meant to be a universe, it's meant to be, but I don't think we'd ever roll that into, you know, anybody else's shit. They're doing their thing. It's Disney. Yeah, this is our thing. Yeah, this is our thing. Yeah. To that, do you have, because it obviously has such a beautiful ending that also has several different, um, do you hope to keep going with this? Oh, hell yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think, listen, it's, it's like anything else. It's like, I think that, I think both Ben and I, like, you know, anytime you could do something like this, you could, you know, build out potentially a, a universe or whatever that is, whatever that may be. Uh, there's obviously really wonderful stories that we could tell, and we're very intrigued by by doing that, you know. And you've laid the groundwork. Yeah. It's a yes. beautiful, beautiful <laughs> foundation set up for yes. this world. Yes, we have. Yeah. So do you guys have any final words to say to this very, very responsive audience, I will say? You won them over. <laughs> One theater at a time, man. <laughs> I, 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 what? Yeah, thank for staying. Thanks yeah. for staying yeah. and seeing your seats and watching us. This is very important. It's the first of its time. That's the most important thing. And again, saying, you know, having Latino and seeing Latinos on the screen, which is very important, yeah. very, very important. Yeah. Hey, and, uh, you know what, sh oh, yeah. sh uh, shout out to Jose Vasquez. Uh, Where's Jose? Jose Vasquez. Oh, guys, Frank Torres. Frank Torres, my stunt coordinator, yeah, second year guy. Yeah. 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 Brian Simpson's in here. Yeah. 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 Somewhere in there. Uh, Under the lights. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for sitting in your seats and watching this and, and, uh, and uh, partaking. You, you know, listen, you, you can't imagine what this is like to see you guys, as I said earlier, like out there enjoying this movie and, 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 as, as all the people here have labored intensely to kind of bring it to you. It, it, I, I, it never gets old, man. It, it's amazing. And I really appreciate it. I know we all appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much. No, you want to see? You want to take us out? I think you should take us out. You know, what was, what was nice is uh, I know. I know that. I know that Paul had read the script, you know, but it was cool sitting over there to get that aha moment to know when he finally understood. Come on, bro, take us out. Paul, Paul, will want to do Brokeback Gangsters with me, and I just wanted. I just, uh, you know, I wasn't into it. I wasn't into it. I had to break the news to my brother here and say, oh, you know what I mean? Teach his own. I just didn't swing that way. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that straight. But El Chicano came out, and I was like, that's what's up. But it was good to be a part of a Latino film with a check player, you feel me? I was that's what's up, man. I like that, you know?
I don't even know what to say, man. We love you guys. I know some other people are trying to say a few words here. I'm just kidding. Don't give a Mexican a mic shit. Yeah. Too bad I'm all Salvadorian, so not <laughs> No, first, I just want to say thank you to our director and our producer because honestly, I've never seen so many brown peeps get casted at once, so it's just great. And we need more of that. And I just want to say that hopefully we can keep that going. And yes. um, that's that's ultimately, I hope that you guys love that part of it. Hey, give so. a shout to Jana right here. Oh, and Jana. Jana's Jana? out Where's here. Jana? So, Jana. Listen, Dana is there here, she and she's is. from Canada, and she dressed all of us, every yep. single one of us in this movie, she's and she's Oscar. incredible. So, yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. Amy Brewster. Amy, love you. Okay, so, first off, before we start the movie, before we squeeze them together for the world's best photo, um, I want to remind you all that you have a ballot. This film is eligible for our audience award, so please remember to vote, and drop in on the film is eligible for our audience award, so please remember to vote, and drop it on the way out. Um, and then to all of you, I want to say thank you for letting us show your film. It was a real, real so pleasure for us. Thank you, no. thank, you for 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 yes. 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 thank you all so much. Be nice. Vote for us. Guys, vote for us. Don't be a loser. Come on.